Hi, I'm Peter Winston. I'm the CEO of ICS, and I'm here in Santa Clara today at Dev Days, the QT Development Conference. Behind me, we have a uh, demo, a kiosk demo, that's showing the things that you can do to build modern user interfaces with QT5 and QML2. Over the last couple of years, we've been building embedded devices, putting uh, touch screens where people used to have knobs and dials and, and switches. People are trying to get the same user experience that they're now expecting on their iPhone or their tablet. People are looking for a snappy interface that lets them manipulate information quickly and getting to what they want. Putting these together is not just a matter of, of engineering, but it's a combination of art and science and blending the user experience with the software. ICS is a, a software development company that we help people build embedded touchscreen and kiosk devices. We do this for many different markets. Um, the medical device industry, there's a lot of things with people taking older legacy medical devices and putting um, real new user interfaces on them in addition to new things. In the entertainment space, there's a, there are what's called infotainment devices that give you a combination of information and entertainment. Uh, in aerospace and defense and commercial industrial, oh, in a lot of different types of in-vehicle devices, not just the GPSs that you're used to in, in, in Best Buy, but, but things that, are, that help you do uh, more complex business um, specific things. Home security and automation, there's a lot of different applications where people are using this type of technology. We also have software which lets you uh, manage and deploy these um, devices. So once you have a thousand of these in the field, that you want to be able to update, send updates to it, and send updates to the right people, but not the people that haven't paid maintenance. And you want to be able to find out who, who's using which version of the software and whether the software's crashed, and, and how to collect statistics about which people are using which things. And so we have this um, these settings dialog which connects to our App Connect, which does those things. Um, enables online support so I know who's using the device, sending of the usage statistics, I can figure out which people are doing what. I can send product news and startup, tell my users, send messages maybe to the people on the, on the treadmill. We also send crash reports and tip of the day information. We have auto up, uh, check for updates that we can run just to, to you know, so a user can see that. While I'm on this settings dialog, I also have, I can change languages, I have German and, and Spanish here working. The magic is actually the process that back in uh, 2008 when the iPhone shipped, Steve Jobs ignited not just a phone market, but a market in a thirst for getting great user interfaces. In order to build those devices, it's a combination of, of art and science. It's not just hiring great software developers, but it's understanding that this is a, imagined by artists and then, and then built by developers and getting those people to work together requires people that know how to do that and a process of people that want to work together. We're located in the United States. Most of our um, work is in the United States. We have people, we find the best people we can around the world to support those projects. And, and we've built lots of projects for people all over. Um, what you're looking at here is a um, hardware software stack. This happens to be an Intel processor. It runs on ARM, it runs on the Raspberry Pi, and other systems on a chip. We're running here on Linux, but it runs just fine on Windows, on QNX. Um, we have um, QT and QML that we're working, along with a bunch of uh, video components, both specific video components, Google APIs, um, um, common com um, user components like those uh, things that let you swipe the pictures and stuff, and industry specific components and graphs. We connect back to the internet via our App Connect um, application back to a thing we call App Village, and then we put our your touch application here. By, by utilizing a team of people that know how to do this and have done it before, we create better products much faster and much cheaper than you can by starting from scratch. And uh, thank you very much. I'm Peter Winston. I'm the CEO of ICS.